I'm gonna I'm gonna checkmate him with D's knights. Can you stop the checkmate or am I a hero? I think I'm a hero here. Look at D's knights. Look at D's knights. And good morning, everybody. We are back. We are live. We are streaming once again. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are in the wide world. So we're back. We're streaming on Twitch. I'm gonna start by playing some blitz to start out, and we will go from there. Let's play knight c6 here, maybe bishop g4. Can also play f6 here. I think I'm gonna play f6 instead. Now it should be pretty good unless I'm mistaken. All right, let's go bishop g4 here. Hello, how are you guys doing? Hope you're fantastic. Yeah, I was not expecting Gandivam to accept my challenge right away. So I, I sort of like I, I am prompt to boot at this. Um, I had sent out a challenge. I thought it'd be like a minute or two before someone accepted, but I got an instant accept, uh, instant um, acceptance. So therefore, that's why that's why I started right away. Who is Gandivam? Gandivam is Argent Eric Icy. Yes, yeah, today's stream is on um, is specifically on uh, on Twitch. Um, now I can take, of course. I'm kind of curious what's happening in this end game so i'm gonna play this end game of trade knight g7 king f7 let's trade can play rook d8 i can also go knight g7 knight g7 looks more appropriate just to develop the knight plays rook e1 let's go king f7 here plays c5 now i guess he wants b4 b5 here he's trying to expand on the um on the queen side i can play a5 and rook b8 and b6 maybe i don't know if it's great um but it does make some sense on the other hand it also doesn't okay let's go a5 let's stop let's stop any of this b4 stuff plays bishop g4 logical now i think i'm gonna go knight f5 here maybe just to trade off the bishop for the knight if he takes on e6 i take drop back and play rook e8 and i should be okay here plays king d3 logical I could play h5 to force him to decide in fact I think I should force him to decide here because it's a dark square bishop so because it's a dark square bishop versus pawns being on light squares I assume I should be better let's take now bishop c3 logical I'll play rookie eight force the rooks off the board I think I should be okay here my plan is to play knight d8 and knight d6 later just rotate everything around Hard to believe that I could be worse here. If B4 takes, takes that knight before. He could play B4 anyway. Thank you so much to Robert Mondavi for the gifted sub. Thanks so much to Robert Mondavi. Can I play G6? I can also just move my king. Um, king D7 kind of looks right. I don't know if it actually is right, but it makes some sense. I can rotate the knight. I can play B6. I can play rook E8. Okay, he goes rook H1, but now I'm going to go knight D8, knight E6, and I think this is already a little bit questionable from uh, Arjun. Probably he'll go B4 here if I had to guess, but please there I just go here I don't understand rook b1 at all okay it goes there so I guess I'll go knight c7 again bad move by the way I gave him bishop f4 not not a good move by me but I'm still probably okay plays a4 logical now I'll go back to e6 if b4 I take and play knight d8 and I should be okay although I'm making this a little bit a um, little bit messy okay let's go uh, here in 90s knight c6 and now I mean I should be completely fine it goes bishop h6 g6 I'm fine so let's go here in rook g8 bishop h6 g6 I'm fine I can just run the king to f7 now and I should should have no losing chances I should be completely fine king f7 no b4 push he fixed his pawns and now it's really really hard to believe that I can be in trouble actually really hard to believe maybe I can play g5 at some point but I'm gonna go for rookie four instead plays f3 okay now I think I go here maybe b6 not that it does anything so I guess I'm just gonna just move my pieces again probably is gonna be a draw I don't really see a good way for my to improve here and you can try g4 I guess yeah it's it's just a draw nothing too special let's keep going second game let's play knight f3 maybe maybe e4 d4 here keep it simple plays c5 now I could play d4 going to an accelerated dragon I could also play a Smith Moore again but let's play a Smith Moore in honor of um in honor of my match against Fabiano yesterday so let's take let's go here d6 is not a good move I, I believe d6 is supposed to be a blunder because of queen b3 and bishop f4 and he's gonna run into trouble I'm gonna go here I'm gonna castle I've got knight b5 this is already I think very very bad for black 
Thank you so much to Thoris for the Prime. Thank you to Ryu for the Prime. Ikumi for the Prime. Thank you to Kanosis with the Prime. Thank you to G Griever with the Prime. Thank you to David Keo with the Prime. Steve Pizaya with the six months watering Bishop for the 47 month resub. Twitch guy for the 19. Thank you to Asset Praise for the 29. Uh, Twitch guy 225 for the 19. Mr. Fish for the 18. Thank you so much to Neax for the five months. Thank you so much to Mr. Mojo Rising for the 17. The, the real Jimmy Butler for the 11 months. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you guys. So I'm just going to castle here and crush him in the center of the board again. Based on my games yesterday, I got to play the Smith Moore again, but it's a great opening and almost wins by force for white. So if I can, if I can posterize some, some chess players, some super GMs with it, I might as well. Hi, Igar. Good to see you. A well-deserved win yesterday. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, it worked out. It was good. All good. This Bishop H6, which looks absurd, to put it mildly. Um... Bishop g3 is a move here with just rook d1. It's very traditional. I suspect the computer is going to say take since I'm like knight b5, but like queen c3 is winning. Um, but I'm just, a, I'm just a puny human and I don't possess such abilities. So I think I'm going to play bishop g3 and rook d1. If, if, I was, if I was a computer, I would take in castles or knight b5. And I guarantee you, with like 99% certainty, there's not 99, but like 95% certainty, there's probably a forced win there. But this also looks great for me. I mean, d6 is weak. Knight b5 is a threat. Looks horribly. Goes knight c6, but what does this do exactly? I just take. He can't castle. He plays knight e5. I check him. Ooh, this is ugly. This is pretty ugly. I think we're going to get a quick win here. I think e5 is strong. Knight b5 is strong too. I mean, everything is good here. It's just a question of what the cleanest way to win is. Knight b5 looks like the... Knight b5, bishop a3, bishop f8. Takes and... Knight d6 back. Okay, well, how do I want to do this? I could even just play simple chess with like bishop e2. e5 also probably good. I think I'm just going to play simple chess here with um with bishop e2. And just e5 next. So there's no need to be cheeky here. b7 is hanging. I have e5. Okay, it goes queen b6, which is a good move. I actually kind of I miscalculated that. Let's go queen a3. He castles. I have bishop c5 and b4. Knight b5 is a big threat. e5 is still a threat. He plays bishop f8 here. Now, I could just castle. I can also play e5 again. I could also take on f8 so he can't castle. But then he gets queen b4, which I don't want to allow. How do I do this? Maybe knight b5. Knight b5, knight takes e4, threatens mate in one. I think I'm just going to castle. Keep it simple. He'll take. I'll take with the queen, of course. No queen b4 now. He can take b2, but I assume knight b5 is winning. I have e5, I have queen f4. Very, very hard to believe that black can be okay. It goes queen b4. Logical. I'll play queen f4 to hit the knight. Okay, now at some point I have to play e5. He can go knight d5, but I'm going to sack the rook. Okay, I'm going to sack the rook here and just crush him. I'm just going to blow him off the board, and he's going to lose very soon. There we go. All right, so as I said before, you guys, Smith Moore, great opening. It's just a bone crushing opening. It wins pretty much by four, so you just got to play it all the time. There, there you guys go. See, Let, let's take a brief look at this game. Let's see. Okay. Rook D1. And 95 apparently is the winning move. If I go 95, it's just winning. So as you guys see, this is how you beat super GMs who are like over 2,700, who don't know how to play against great gambits like the Smith Moore. So you guys got to study these gambits and play them every game if you have the opportunity. Thank you so much to uh, Fang Duster. Thank you to Badger. Thank you to Also Knows Nurse. Thank you to Argas. Thank you to DZ for the Prime. Um, uh, I can play McKenna's. I can play the English opening. I can just play King's Indian like, like I used to play. So let's go G6, D6. Keep it very simple here. He's going to play the Averbox system. I've played against this many times. There's E5, C5, C6. Play E5, A5. Oh, wait. I just blundered. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? I actually just blundered for no reason. Um, whoops. What am I doing? Okay, that wasn't very smart. Okay, let's take. Let's go knight. I guess I'll go knight b4 here. Congrats. It was so much fun to see you win. Thank you so much. Is three minute blitz your favorite tempo? I like it. I don't know if I would say it's my favorite, um, but I do like it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was supposed to go c5. c5, d5, e6 is one line. You can also play like knight a6 and then e5, but e5 right away is actually a blunder. So he castles. So I can play knight c6, knight d4. I mean, bishop e6 is kind of an interesting move here. Oh, wait, no, it's not an interesting move. Maybe just knight a6. 
Knight c6, bishop c7, bishop e6, maybe. I think I'll just play knight six. Maybe I'll just take and drop back. I can also just go bishop e6, maybe, and hit the pawn. Oh, this isn't... Yeah, this is just bad. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll drop back, play knight d4. Hopefully it works. Um, obviously, I'm not in good shape in this position, but maybe I can swindle him. Let's go bishop g4. Maybe I'll take the knight and go knight d4. If I get these knights in the middle of the board, I have chances to at least save the game. Doesn't mean I will save the game, but I have some chances. So c5, interesting choice. Um, it's definitely not the move I would have played. Feels like I should have something here. Maybe just like... I'm just going to go h6. I don't even know it does anything, but it stops knight g5. I can play rook c8 later. I still want to play rook c8 to hit the bishop. Um, thank you so much to CD Saw for the 1,000 bits. Thank you Isoderms for the 10 and Bedside Lotion for the 24. Thank you CC to Saw for the tier 1 as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. If I can get... If I can get Arjun a little bit lower on time, I think I have some chance. So I'm going to go here. I have bishop a2, maybe. The idea is no knight g5, basically. That's what, that's what, that's why I played h6 to stop this. Although maybe I shouldn't have, because if I had bishop h6, this would perhaps be a little bit easier to play. But if I get knight a5, I mean, these knights are jumping a little bit. Just a little bit. Was I actually drinking three different drinks at the same time? Yes, I was, you guys. Um, now, h5 looks like a move. I don't know if it's a good move. I can also just play f6, I guess. I think I'm just going to play f6 and maybe h5 later. It's not a good move, but it's playable. I can go knight a5. I can also just play like h5. I want to go bishop h6 and target the uh, target the rook, but I don't want knight g5, and I don't want the pawn hanging, so the pawn stops both. And now, I mean, I'm still not doing great, but his bishop is kind of stuck here. It's like a dead wooden shield. And I have bishop h6, and it's starting to look better for me. I assume I go bishop h6. Active bishops here. This is not um, trivial for white to play anymore. He wants to go g4 logical. If I go king g7, g4 is not a move because I can just take the juicer. Okay, now the question is, is knight a5 a move? This is the, the million dollar question here. I think it is a move. I'm going for knight c4. I'm going for bishop uh, bishop a2 as well. Wait, what? Okay, first of all, I take. If I play... Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Doesn't look right. Um, rook c6, g5, rook... King h8. I'm gonna I'm gonna checkmate him with D's knights. Can you stop the checkmate or am I a hero? I think I'm a hero here. Look at D's knights. Look at D's knights. Rook H6 is GG, I think. I think I'm just winning here, unless I'm crazy. Because G5, Rook H6, he takes the bishop. I hide in the corner. And with D's knights covering the critical squares, it's just game over. I, I just lift the rook and checkmate. Checkmate. We're off to a great start so far, you guys. Holy, this is insane. This is just chess, you guys. Just chess. What do you expect? Thank you so much to Fungus Man for the 7. Coco Lloyd for the 26. Free Man for the 26 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. He's just lost. Game over. Yeah, these knights are powerful. Indeed. 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 Okay, let's keep going. Up up two and a half, half. Okay, we don't get to play our more Gambit this time. Let's play D3 and E4. Uh, I don't need pieces, just knights. Yeah, knights are the best piece in Blitz specifically. In in uh, slower chess, not as great. Um, but like bishops have more more scope. They're perhaps a little bit stronger objectively. But in um, but definitely in Blitz, knights are really really tricky. Thank you so much, for Bly excuse me, Bly Pope for the forty nine months. Here, no knight g four now because I cover the square. Okay, plays bishop e six. Um, how do I do this? I can play knight f one. I can go c three. I'm going to play c3 and g4. It's probably not great, but I think it's decent. I also have b4, b5 here. Um, what do you just watch? You watched uh, you watch D's Knights, the D's Knight show. It's like queen e2, king h2, knight f1. I should be fine. I'm something else. Eh, it's just chess, you guys. Stop stop acting weird about it. Now, I do have knight b3 here, which I think I'm going to play to trade the pawns. Um, he can obviously take back with the pawn. I mean, I think I had some games against Vichy and Nand and this sort of stuff. Um, the a4, I have knight c5, of course. Where you can take, and I mean, black's supposed to be better in all those resulting lines. But whenever I had this in practical games with this pawn structure, I was never very happy um, against Vishyanon. So let's see. He, he does that. I can just play 
I guess I'll just go here and I see one. I mean, I don't love my knight, but I'm gonna try to reroute the knight to f4. I want one, two, bing, bang, boom, and I should be okay. Goes a3, I will play b3, of course. I could take as well, but b3 looks better. Oh, maybe I should have gone b4. Hmm. Anyway, let's go here. Maybe queen c2 to hit the knight. I also b4 somewhere. I mean, I, if I get knight e2, knight f4, suddenly with d's knights on f3 and f4, I'm, I'm should be okay here. Plays queen f6. I can go knight e2 here, I think. If he takes, I take and he loses the knight on d7. On knight e5, I trade, I go knight f4. It's quite decent, actually. Quite decent. Plenty of wins for black in your last competition. Yeah, I mean, I think for whatever reason, everybody was just uh, was having some fun. I, I think that's the simplest. I missed g5. That's a good move by Arjun. Um, I guess I'll go uh, knight h2, maybe knight c1, and then f4, something like this. Don't know if this is actually good, but it makes some sense. Maybe rook f1 and knight e1 was better, maybe, but whatever. Go here, guard the pawn. f4, big threat now. Um, I think it's because everybody was... Uh, was very um they, they were playing unusual like the style wasn't unusual but i felt like everyone was playing uh, much more on the edge they were taking a lot more risks than you're used to seeing from top players and so that was my general reason i think everybody was much more on the edge like even my myself i will tell you guys full disclosure when i played against um go here in the 92 when i played against fabiano both opportunities where i had white in the final game i played the classic smith moore gambit in any normal world i would never play like that for a couple of reasons first of all i would never play like that because winning the match would actually mean something to me and it doesn't mean that much now that's the first thing the second thing um is that the money the money would matter for people who are professional chess players so you would never take that kind of risk and play for the content um but for me, I played for the content. And when you play for the content, like you're definitely taking many more risks and you're having fun. It's all it's all a wild, wild show. So um, it's just a little bit different. Now he goes G4 here. I could take and play Knight of Forge. I think it's quite reasonable. It's also questionable too though. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go here. Maybe not best, maybe I should trade it first. It's a little bit risky. My king could be open here, but we'll see. I'll take. Ah, he has rook a5. I didn't see rook a5. That's a good move by Arjun. Or is it? I take rook h5. I have knight h2. And if he takes, I go e5. It's still not good for me, but maybe I can close off the, the king side a little bit here. If he can't lift the rook here, I'm probably kind of okay. We'll see if I'm actually okay or not okay. He goes queen e7, queen e2. Looks like a good move because takes I take and I have queen e4 check. I also have bishop e4 check as well at some point. I'm probably still worse here, but I, I don't. Oh, he takes. Interesting. Okay, I check. What? Huh? Arjun feeling okay this morning? I mean, I'm just much better now. Yeah, but what is this? I just go here. Strange. Okay, bishop d5. I mean. Of course, I should trade and just go here and king f3. I mean, he gets bishop a5, c3, but it doesn't really concern me at all. Go here, king f3, rookie one. King e4, also a good move. Rook f5, just rook h4 even. Yeah, it should be very, very smooth sailing. Go um, here to guard the pawn. And now I can play rook h1. I can take d4. I can even go like... I mean, everything, all roads lead to Rome here. But time is a little bit tight, so I'm going to play rook g1. And let's just go here, prevent rook c2. And now I just take, and I'm in rook f2, maybe. Maybe just rook h7 is good enough. I mean, you can check. I go king b4, not super concerned. Go here. Go here, cut him off at the pass. I play rook e4 next move. There's nothing he can really do. Let's play b4, attack the bishop. And he goes there. I'll just go here, connect the rooks. Go here. Now I'm going to try to ladder him. Check and check and good night. Next game. Thank you so much to um, uh, Arash Pino for the seven months. Thank you so much to Arash Pino. Play c4. Um, let's keep going with our King's Indian defense. Uh, I got away with it last time against his Aberbach. This time I'm going to play knight bd7 since someone asked it. Laddered? Yes, we laddered him. I'm going to play knight bd7. I can play e5, a5. I can also go c5, but let's play e5. 
Will I play the candidates in 2023? Don't know, haven't thought about it, don't care. <laughs> don't care, I literally don't care. Um, I can take on D4 and play H6 here. Uh, I can also just play... This is a weird setup, so I'm gonna go B6. It's kind of weird playing the setup by White. So I'm gonna go B6, Bishop, B7. Um, that's my simple answer right now. I haven't even thought about it, so out of sight, out of mind, not a concern. I'm gonna play a5, maybe knight c5 here. It's a weird position because I can't play h6 or attack, but on the other hand, he also can't do anything on the um, king side either, so it's kind of weird. He's gonna go g3 and fianchito, maybe. Okay, he goes b3. I guess I'll play here, reroute the bishop, maybe bishop d7. Maybe I'll go queen c8, knight h5, and f5. That seems like a pretty reasonable plan. It was a3. Now, I could play a4, knight b3, which is interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go knight b3 and then, like, knight d4. I go knight d4, takes, takes, takes. Yeah, I think this is good. If it takes, takes, queen d4, I have knight e4, and we create a fossil, so it's all very good. I think there's a Yoda for the format, saying Niverksk for the, um, the tier 1. Now, I can trade and go knight h5, which looks... Pretty logical. I mean, it's he's getting c5, though, I just realized. Maybe knight d4 was a mistake. Hmm, it was actually a mistake. Um, I take, take, and play c5. Kind of sketchy. Kind of sketchy. Um, I guess... I guess I'll go over the c5. I'm just going to take. Um, oh, but he has knight d2, which I forgot about. What am I doing? Maybe I do I go back? Let's go. Let's go back. I mean, he can make a draw. I don't like my position, so I'm, I'm going to just play this position. If he wants to make a draw with the white pieces, that's on him. That's not on me. So, okay, now I do have knight h5. What's his idea? If I go knight h5, knight f4. If he takes, I take. If c5 again, I'm just gobbling, gobbling, gobbling the pawn. I want to get these knights on f4 and d4. Knight b5 is interesting. I don't know if it's a good move though. It feels like a bad move somehow. It feels sus. It feels a little bit sus. If I take and play knight f4, knight f3, back knight b3. Ah, oh, who cares? Let's just go for it. And we have these knights here on f4 and d4. I'm probably worse here, object. Oh, maybe I had queen d7. Maybe I think I'm worse here, but with these knights, I gotta keep playing. Oh, if I take, there's king h2, which I just forgot about. So let's go back. I'm probably going to lose this game. This is a pretty ugly position. It goes queen g4, though, which... What is queen g4? Wait a second. We play f5, takes... I guess I'll just go here. I guess f5 takes, knight f6, he just goes back. So I don't like it. So, again, I'm down time. I'm down a lot of time on the clock here, so I need to speed up. go here attack the queen I don't like this at all by the way I go here I take and I've got knight d5 now I mean now I hit the bishop pawn is weak in the center I can play rookie seven to guard okay I mean yeah he gets a knight to e4 but I'm not really all that worried so I just drop back I have knight d4 I have rookie seven If h4, I go h5 or not. Let's see. I also have knight d4. I guess I'll just go here, h5, g5, and... Oh, he's bishop d3, which, of course, I forgot about. Yeah, that was stupid. Um, if I go king g8, he takes. I just have knight f3 or something. Oh, this is just losing. Okay, goes there. I go here to hold. Oh, this also just wins. I was okay in this game until I hung the pawn, but I'll try to hang on and play the game anyway. I'll try to do my best uh, impersonation of uh, Hikaru and just try to keep playing even though I'm losing in this position. Go here, I guess. I mean, I'm almost, I'm almost somehow not dead lost again. Like I'm obviously losing some down a pawn, but the, the show goes on. Um, should I be worried? Should I be worried? Should I be worried? Bishop f6 and rook f4, maybe? Go here. Should 
should have played Bishop H4. Oh, whoops. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh, I blundered that. Oh, I would have won that game if I hadn't blundered. If I hadn't blundered Knight takes A3, I would have won that game at the end. But, ah, it's life. Okay, let's play D4. Let's play C3, Smith Moore again. Let's show this guy zero disrespect, or zero respect, I should say. Yeah, I would have won that game at the end if I hadn't um, been so so uh, so low on time. But that's life. Let's play H4. It's D5. Of course, I just um, play Queen A4. Things are to come on to fire for the 33. Michael Morbius for the two. Thank you, Dan, Daniel O. Machado for the 27. Thank you, Katie Dub for the 31. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was really unfortunate because I, I had survived that whole thing and I, I would have actually won that game, but that's uh, life. I also should have lost the second game we played, so it's all relative. <clears throat> well, what do you do if it's five and a half, one and a half? I don't know. You guys tell me. Um, what is the bet on? What's the bet on? Bishop E7? What? Wait a second. This also looks very bad. Um, go all in for the attack. If he plays h6, I sack. If he doesn't play h6, he castles. He gets checkmated in one. I think I'm already winning, by the way, again. <laughs> I think I'm winning yet again. Maybe not winning, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm better. Significantly better here. Wow. Okay. Let's go. What? Really? Is this okay? This does not look like this should be okay for, for black. Um, maybe it is, but it looks so wrong. I mean, maybe I can just go Bishop H5. I mean, okay. I have to check. This much is clear. I have to check and leave him with a rook in the corner. I think I'm just going to play rookie one here. I have queen before um his only move here is queen before so if i go queen g6 wait if i play queen g6 how does he stop meeting what let's go he can't stop me he moves the knight to cover he loses the queen if i go here and here he's just made it hmm Once again, you guys, Smith Moore are OP. This is why these days, top grandmasters, they aren't built the same way. All they do is hit the space bar on their computer and memorize lines. They have no actual understanding of the game. Um, so let's play knight f6 here and go g6 and d6. Thanks to Bride Candy for the tier one thing and Nico for the prime. See, this is what you do when you sit in front of your computer screen all day and you don't study proper gambits like it's the 1800s. You forget how to play chess like a professional. Okay. Um... I'm gonna play knight d7 e5 again. I thought I got a good position last game. Um, let's play e5 and knight c5 here. Oh wait, he keeps playing this knight f3. So let's go b6, bishop b7. They're just NPC robots. <laughs> again, knight c5 is moving. I'm gonna play a5 and knight c5. They need to lure from the gambit speedrun, yeah. Uh, this is actually turning a little bit into the uh, disrespect speedrun, kind of, a little bit. I think it's just to stay classy for the prime. A little bit it is. Um, let's go bishop d7. A little bit, yeah. It's it's a little little bit much. I'm not gonna pretend to say that like I'm I'm not being a touch disrespectful this morning, but this is better. Okay, I think there's a major avalanche for two. I mean, I've just blown blown away like a, a future world champ. I well, I mean, we'll see if he if Tim Gukesh or which which one of them gets there. But um, I mean, two games and I've gotten great positions. I mean, I've been winning out of the opening, so it's pretty good. Yeah. Thoughts on Nepo versus Ding? Um. Hard to judge, I would say in terms of Nepo and Ding. I mean, I will be covering it on my on my kick channel over the next couple of weeks. Um, I do think that I would say Nepo has to be the favorite. The thing is, how big of a favorite is he? That's what I don't know. Okay, I'll go here. We're gonna get the same line. Bishop three knight knight of four or something. Um, I don't know how big of a favorite he is. That's the thing. Like, is he is he a favorite? I mean, is it like 
Let's go here. Is he like 70-30? Is it 60-40? Like, I really just don't have a good read. These are Bright Cannon for the give sub and Jalvin Conjures for the 13. Okay, he goes Knight B5 again, so he wants to trade. Um, I can obviously take and play F5 here. Takes, I take. If he takes, I take. I assume I go here to dodge this Bishop B6 trick. Oh, I might have just hung a pawn on C7 accidentally, but who cares? It should have been you there instead of Ding. It's okay, you guys. Light, life, light. Life isn't always right now. He goes G3, which unfortunately I kind of spotted the concept a little bit too late. Um, I can move the knight, but I can also just play. I'm gonna go G5. I don't know if it's a good move or a bad move. He takes, I take, and the bishop's still trapped. So I guess we'll see what happens here. Things with Juo for the prime. The Juo appreciate. It. I, I think Nepo's got to be the favorite. Just he's more experienced. He's more coaches. Ding's approach has generally not been as like quote unquote professional. He's had less people that he's working with. So. I, I mean, that's just my general read, but again, I don't know. Now, I can take and play off four again with queen h3, maybe. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. Maybe. If I play rook a7, I just lose. So either I take on e4, or um, either I take on e4, or I have to play... If I don't take on e4, what are my other moves? Knight d5 is also maybe a move as well. I don't love it. Um, no, no, actually, if I take there's bishop c4, what am I doing? So, knight h3 takes takes f4, queen c7, queen g4, queen h3, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Let's take, let's go here. Using way too much time here, by the way. I'm probably losing here is my guess. This is my first assumption, my first gut instinct, my first reaction is that I'm losing. But we'll see. I mean, maybe there are tricks with like queen h3 and g4, g3, f3. Oh, wow, it just goes there. I'll go here, guard the pawn. Very surprised by king g2. Not the move I expected. Okay, but I guess I have to take and take. He could also take with the pawn, I just realized. He doesn't have to take the rook. I mean... Question is, how do I do guard? I guess I'll go g4 and maybe rook a7 and bishop h6. I think this is probably just a draw. Let's go here. F3, I just take. Did I hang something? I, I almost hung something there. I mean, go here, go here. I mean, you can obviously sack, but I'm not too worried. Let's just go here, I guess. I've got to move faster. I'm a little bit too slow. Obviously, he's looking to do something. Oh. Oh, my mouse got stuck again. Uh, 
Ah, my mouse got stuck. That's so unfortunate. So unfortunate. Eh, whatever. Let's play one more and then I'm going to stop with this guy. Yeah, that was really unlucky. That was not Magnus, actually. Uh, Magnus was a mouse slip, slightly different. Now let's go here. Very unlucky. This castle. If I had been faster again, I would have survived that. The problem is I was down 30 seconds out of the opening. If I wasn't down 30 seconds, I would have, I would have probably... He would have made a draw rather than trying to flag. If I get a chance, though, I will flag him in return for that. If I get the chance. Not that I will, but if I do. Go D4. Not a good move either, by the way. Um, I do have E5, but I'm going to reroute the knight to C4 here. That doesn't look right. Um, go here. I have bishop A3. Wait a second. This looks very suspicious. Okay, I don't want to burn too much time, so I'm just going to play a4 and bishop a3, I guess. Although, I should have played e5 at any in any world here. Uh, yeah, because now he gets g5, and now it gets a little bit weird. Let's go here. I mean, I guess I still have knight d2, and I'm probably a little bit better, but it's not, it's not quite what I wanted. It was queen g8, which... Wait, is that that... Wait a second. What is his idea here? I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on. Knight c4 takes takes queen g6. If I go king h1, he still wants queen g6. So I get his idea at least. I'm tempted to just sack a pawn. I'm going to play something unusual. I'm just going to sack a pawn here and play for an initiative. This might be crazy, by the way. But I'm going to play for some initiative with bishop e7. I takes and bishop e7, I thought. Actually, no. Let's just go all in for the attack. Oh, this also doesn't really look right either. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to basically go for some attacks here rather than try to play a positional way of winning the game. So it goes e5. I'll play a6, of course. Move the pawn. That looks wild. Go here in c3. Let's go here. I'll give him a pawn. I don't care. I'll just play c3. I'm trying to attack. I mean, I'm playing very much outside my normal style in these games as well. Like, this is normally not how I play. I'm trying to play very much on the edge and very, very aggressive. Like, this is not my normal style at all. So I pre-move takes. Okay, so of course I take. Of course I play... Uh... I mean, bishops... Actually, again, I should have thought before playing this move instantly, but... My presumption here is that I should still be better with bishop a7. Oh, he goes... Okay, but I'll just keep pushing p. I mean, again, I'm down so much material that I've just got to keep going forward and keep attacking here. My style is very reminiscent of, like, uh, Michael Tal or something like that. I'll just play e5. He has d3, of course. Okay, he goes d3, and now I'm already wondering why I did that, but... Let's go here. Oh, he's got bishop g5, which I forgot about, too. What the heck? Yeah, I gotta slow down. What am I doing? I have queen e1, though. Queen e1, knight d5, bishop a7. Still very messy. If he takes, I take d5. I mean, he gets a6 here. I get e6. I mean, it's still very, very messy. Yeah, I miss queen d8, of course. Naturally. Yeah, I'm playing a little bit too quickly now. After the last game, I'm moving too fast at these critical moments rather than using my time the way I should be. I mean, he has like g3 or something. He doesn't. He misses it. So I'll go e6 here to open up the position. And e3. If I take. Yeah, I'm playing this too fast. I'm playing like I feel like I'm suddenly playing. Um, I'm, I'm playing like this is uh like this bullet. Just king d8. Okay, wait a second. If I play rook e6, it's no good. I'll go knight e4 here. I'll go knight d6. Again, I feel like I should have something here. Let's go here. Okay, Rook F8. I did not expect that. I missed that. Now, see, I'm up on clock here, but I'm mm, slightly missing the thread. I guess I'll go here and here. 
I've just got to keep going fast. He hung that. Good step. Let's go back. I have rookie eight again. I also have 94 somewhere. Day three. Take. Now I take. I check. And it should be winning. It should be winning for me if I don't do something stupid. I have rookie eight. I also have like... I'm trying to find a checkmate here, but I can't quite spot it. Why am I trying to find a mate? Just find the win. Um, yeah, of course he finds rook a2. And now, again, like I burned all my clock to mess this up. The heck. Um, there we go. Got him. There we go. He's still trying. There we go. We got him. That's payback for that stupid previous game that he didn't deserve to win. Play g6 and d6. Bishop g7. I will castle here. I'm playing knight, knight bd7 and e5. Um, all I've got to do is be quicker. If I'm quicker and I get to that endgame scramble, I will survive. Let's play bishop b7. Let's go a5 here, knight c5. I was trying to win a lost position. Yeah, my, my time management was not very good that game. Okay, plays b3 again. Now, see, just like the previous game, I, I think he's full of Bologna here, and I don't think this is actually good for white. I'm going to go here knight b3 again and play knight h5. Thank you so much to a guy lock for the uh, 200 bits as well. Thank you so much to play knight d4. GG, you and Fabi were going at. Yeah, the Fabiano match was, was a lot of fun. Now, I can play a five here. I don't know if it's a good move. It's not what I want to play. Knight of four is really what I want to play. I forget, what was he playing here? He was doing something. I don't remember. He did something. Was it rook c1? Or knight b5? Maybe it was knight b5 that he played. Okay. Um, I'll take. I can play h5 here. I can also play like rook b8, rook b7. I think I'm just going to go back and play simple chess here, like queen b8, rook a7. Just guard everything. Maybe queen. Why didn't I go to d8? It was just d8 was just the right square to have access, but whatever. It was g3, reasonable move. Um, where does this knight belong? Is the question. I could try knight f4. This doesn't make sense. This knight. Somehow I feel like it belongs on e8. I don't know why, but I feel like it belongs on e8. Just. I think it belongs on E to guard the pawn, and I play F5, F4, try to push like that. Something along those lines. It seems like the logical approach. The knight on E8 holds the juice, and even though I've got a rook that's out of play, eventually it can come over. You celebrate more when you beat Magus when we were champion yesterday? Of course, you guys, because because um, yesterday I didn't actually think I played great chess. That was the thing. Wow, G4, what a move. Um, not what I was expecting. I guess I'll play... Now I'll go Queen D8, but I wish my Queen was already on D8 to start with. I always go h6. I mean, somehow I need to get my pieces to better squares. I think I'm gonna put the bishop on e7. Maybe go like knight g7. I think I'm gonna go like here and maybe try to play f5. I mean, he's gonna go rook g1 at some point. I'm sure of it. I play his bishop h6 instead. Okay, so I'll go here. Still want to go rook g8. Maybe like knight e8. I mean, I don't have any moves. This is the problem. I'm kind of stuck here. I'll go here maybe and then bishop d8 or something oh actually i'm attacking the pawn i just realized yeah so now i'm attacking the pawn now maybe i go f6 and queen f7 i think i'll play f6 here position is very very solid by the way my position is like really like a rock let's go here and 98 maybe to hold the pawn i'm gonna go rook oh he has bishop h6 again i plays f3 which is interesting I think i'm gonna try to bring my rook back at some point yeah, let's just go for it. I don't know if it's good, but I want to go for it. I don't want to waste time. It's bishop h6. I play here. I take. I go queen f7. I mean, I'm one. My rook is very, very close. It's one square away from being in the game. So we'll see. I mean, he has f4, bishop f6, knight f3, f4. Either I'm going to lose here, I'm going to win brilliantly. One or the other. Now, I could play f4. I think queen g2 is a big, not a big mistake per se, but definitely not a good move. 
Why did I commit something with that move against Fabiano? Uh, by the way, this looks really, 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 really bad suddenly. The bishop's going to g3. I have queen h5. And he's going to actually just lose this game in two moves. There we go. Another dub. I just go bishop g3 and queen h5. Game over. I mean, the whole thing with Fabiano is I already felt the game was slipping downhill at that point. So I didn't really see the... I didn't see the play. Hey, so much for Rip City for the 17, Dr. Hottie for the 40, RTM Varyanko for the 3, Stevie TL for the 2, IP Montreal for the 21, Ron Jambo for the 7. Now, let me double check that Bishop G3 is not like a Blunder. If I go here, he's Bishop G5 or something. I don't care. I literally don't care. Queen H5, Bishop F8. Oh, wait, just Queen F6 traps the Bishop. <laughs> oh, no, he's got Queen D2. Oh, I got careless here. Let's go here. Oh, no, now I win h3, though. No, no, I just win anyway. Never mind. Okay. Thank you to Presuntino for the Prime. Thank you to Luis Dare Profi. Thank you to Ushida. Thank you so much to Endy. Thank you so much. Play Knight of 3. Thank you so much to Reels for the Prime and Juo. Um, play e4. He wants to play e... Oh, he's going to play c... Oh, no, he's going to play a Modern. Okay. E5, I believe, is the move. E5 is a move. C3 is a move. I mean, all these moves are playable. Um, I guess I'll play Knight BD2. Things are a Jack Sarkissian for the raid with 60. Things are a Jack. Appreciate it. Now, D5 is a move. D takes E5 is a move. I'm just going to take. It's not. I mean, this is not the dream, but it's very, very dry, very positional kind of, and it should be okay. I'm gonna play like uh I guess I'll go b3 a4 and bishop a3 that's my idea at least here at least by going b3 first I keep the dream alive with bishop b2 okay let's go a4 bishop a3 queen e8 logical I can play knight f3 I can also go into like knight f1 knight e3 things with jack for the raid appreciate it so I don't really want to take the bishop I mean knight f3 is the the boring human move could also just play like I guess I'll just play h3. I did give him knight h5, I guess. I didn't actually think about that, but I'm not too worried about the knife on f4 here. I expected that. I guess I'll play like a5, fix the pawns here. Maybe knight knight f3 next move. Should be okay. Thanks, thanks so much to Jack. Thank you so much to um thanks so much to Tamin Tam Tam and Pasta for the uh for the tier one things i probably should have traded first although i do have bishop e7 to play the end game with the knights versus the bishop bishop e7 bishop c4 one rook d1 no it's no good i should take and play like knight f3 very very slow positional game knight c4 was obviously a move too. he goes queen c6 which is pretty good um, I was hoping he wouldn't play that move, actually, and he did. I have to go, like, rookie one. Mm. Not thrilled. And I'm also way down on clock again, so I got to speed up. I'm way down on clock again for a second game in a row. Queen C3, that looks like a strange move. I don't understand Queen C3 at all. I go Queen C4. He has to trade. I mean, the problem is I'm down 20 seconds. If I was up like 30 seconds here, I'd win this game every time. But I'm not actually up on clock, so I'm gonna. But it's an end game, so I should be okay. I just go king up one, king e two. It's easier for me to play at least. That's the one good thing. Let's go here, reroute the pony to d3. I had knight before, which I missed too. No, that was bad. Right, knight before did nothing. Now I'm gonna have to remove the rook back and play b4 at some point. There, I'll go here. Here. Mm, b4, not a great move, but he misses. He misses. He missed something there. I don't care really, so play b5 here again i'm a little bit low on time so i have to be careful how i play this play c6 now i could play b6 here 
assume rook a3 is better probably only going to be a draw but that's what it is really don't want to play b6 but i think i will and probably just going to be a draw now he can play f5 i mean he, he's, he's already shown that he wants to be aggressive so i kind of assume he will be i just go back oh he's got f5 and he can run the king maybe let's play h4 i know he's going to try to flag or some nonsense again so i just maybe not maybe he's just going to take the draw here maybe yeah okay he's just gonna take the draw i guess okay or not okay um what am i doing here i should put the knight on d3 too what the heck no i'm actually misplaying this i might lose this game now maybe or not maybe not I completely flubbed this again I'm misplaying these time scrambles horribly against Arjun I don't even know why yeah I'm playing these time scrambles I just keep messing up I don't know why I keep messing it up yeah, that's enough that's enough I every time I get low on time I just panic against him it's the third time in a row whatever it's life I win the match six and a half three and a half plus plus two should have been plus three that's life